Hey, on Urban Rush, it may be one of our most dire episodes. That's right. If you want to find out why this man is in a soundproof booth, you're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. Can you hear me, sir? Can you hear me, sir? Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We know a lot of you have a snow day today, and what would be better than a little vodka to warm your heart? <laughs> that's, that's right. That's how you survive almost every day. Forget about a snow day. Uh, our next guest is joining us, and you'll know him if you go to West. He is Canada's premier mixologist. He won Grey Goose's Canada-wide mixologist competition. David Wallowidnik is joining us from West. Hello. How are you, my friend? Nice how to see you? you again. Nice to see you as well. Congratulations. Now, this Thank was you. a competition quite literally across Canada. Yes. Uh, that Grey Goose put on. So tell yeah. us about the drink we're going to... Uh, um, I call it Jeux Liqueur. It's a combination of Grey Goose vodka, Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, elderberry flower syrup, muddled grapes, splash of lemon. My um, goodness. Um, now what very made you create it is. this recipe? Where did it come from? Um, my sister got married a couple of years ago and we needed to have a cocktail to signify her... Her marriage, love. her love. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the name Jolie Kerr, Happy Heart. Happy that's heart. very okay, sweet. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to mix the Happy Heart, and then Mike and I have both, um, we're going to both make concoctions and have a little contest to see which one you like the best. But uh, why don't you get started and walk us through how to make okay. this at home. Okay. Um, start with a couple of grapes, um, six, eight-ish grapes, and take a muddler, uh, mortar, pestle, whatever you like, um, smash those up. You could, if you don't have fresh grapes at your... Uh, Fresh grapes your are side. pretty easy to <laughs> yeah. find, though. Come on. But if you don't, you might have white grape juice, or you might have another okay. sort of a grape That'll juice work. that could work. And just to add a little bit of that. Um, well, and if you're at a party or something, it is the easier way to go than muddling your <laughs> yes. way through the night, right? Absolutely. An ounce and a half of grape juice vodka. Okay. Got to have the good stuff. And wine and vodka isn't something that I would yes. think to pair together, but as an award-winning mixologist, uh, convince me. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, it's been something I've actively avoided <laughs> in my life. It's, um, I guess with the grapes. It's, basically, yeah. there are no rules when it comes to the engagement of mixology. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what you're looking for is balance. Uh, to balance sweetness with acidity, um, to balance the alcohol with um, the other flavors as well. Okay. Um, there are some drinks where the intent is to be quite hot, um, alcohol-driven, and others that are yeah. intended to be lighter, um, more mm -hmm. approachable. This was one way, now I added two ounces of the Kim Crawford Sauvignon okay. Blanc, this was one way to actually give something that was fun, fresh, lively. Um, and what's Flatterstaff? Flatterstaff? This is the um, Swedish name for... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. um, for elderberry flower syrup. Okay. So this is a concentrate. I went to Ikea and bought a whole bunch of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, literally. <laughs> quite, quite literally. <laughs> Barf and Nugent. In, um, in Ikea, they offer this and many other little... They don't really. They do. That's where I bought it. I'm, I'm calling. <laughs> I don't can. believe you're flatter staff. Produced in Sweden for Ikea. Come on. Okay, so you're adding it some really ice. Is. Adding some ice. And last ingredient, about a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Oh, that Ooh. sounds delicious. So a quick rundown again. Muddled grapes, yep. okay. two ounces of the Sauvignon Blanc, an ounce and a half of the Grey Goose, quarter ounce of lemon, and three quarters of an ounce of the Flatter Stuff. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. And so now you had to compete. You didn't just send your recipe in and, and that was it. You actually had to... First portion of the competition, we sent our recipes in. There was roughly 20 bartenders from Vancouver um, and an equal number from Montreal and Toronto. We all sent the recipes off to France. Mm -hmm. um, their global brand ambassador made each cocktail replicating the recipe to their exact specifications. And then he decided um, which ones were worthy to narrow down to a semi-finalist group of three and per city. And you were worthy. Competition were in Vancouver. All right, let's right. try And then it. the finals in Toronto. Because we got to get to the contest. If you two are shaking, use both hands. Use okay. both okay, okay. hands. Otherwise, you may have Kill half the shaker. Okay. Okay. Lose behind you. Little tap on the side will help you to release it. I like to oh. taste it before. Make sure. To make sure. Good to go. Good to go. I didn't forget any ingredients. And I'm going to strain out the muddling, the pulp. Oh, that looks very nice. Hello, snow day. Hello, snow day. <laughs> we meet again. Okay, so we're going to taste this little bad boy, and mm -hmm. then Mike and I are going to mix it. I'm going to taste it, rather. I'm going to. Oh, you know, it's so full. I'm clumsy. Go. Go, go, Why go. Why do they make more go, oh, God. <laughs> You're freaking out. Your lips are actually quivering. How long has it been? Oh, that's nice. Drink? 
That's really nice. Enjoy. That's delicious. Good. Okay, so what's going to happen now is okay. we're going to ask you to step off into our soundproof booth, and we have 60 over. seconds to make a drink. Go, go, go. get up. Okay, okay for oh, Look, I've got there. all the booze over I'm here. I'm going to transfer all this over here. I don't need alcohol yet because I know I don't want to go too soon. So I call this Tropical Storm. Um, I didn't ask, but that's cool. Oh, what's Tropical Storm? That sounds really interesting. What's yours called? Mine's yours called Yummy. So normally what you would do is you would actually just soak the vodka in pineapple for, for how like long, Mikey? three or four days. Three or four days? Yeah, honestly, three or four days. So you're kind of, what is it called when they soak stuff in vodka? Uh, <laughs> dangerous? I don't know. Illegal? Um, okay, mine? so I'm just going to do a few. That times. looks like a splash. 40 seconds to go. Oh my Excuse goodness. Excuse me, darling. Now, because this isn't going to have the same effect of actually soaking for okay, a few days. Okay, this is the part that I'm afraid of. I muddle. I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. 30 seconds. People are killing me. Got to get it nice and icy. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Da -da -da. You've got seconds. 20 seconds. Where's my to shaker shaker? Nerd. How do I do this? Oh, wait, there was something I missed. <laughs> Oh no! What have we done? Where's my glass? Straining strainer scent. I didn't taste it first either, but you know what? Oh! No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I see. I right. finished the mixing. Okay, you can come back in. Now I've just got to pour. I call mine the Fiona because it's a drink that's very common and delicious, but I love it. it looks beautiful. I and love the it's called a lychee martini. Nice. Fun in a glass, okay. I'll have to say, Michael's is a little muddy in appearance. <laughs> it's really in comparison to yours. Yours is, is more elegant. Thank you really, you okay. seriously yeah. want to start that way. <laughs> well, that's fine, that's you fine. You told me to be candid no, I can totally honest. handle it. You're, you're so you told me to be completely honest. <laughs> it's called Tropical Storm, and I didn't mean like it's supposed to look like diarrhea. I meant like it's supposed to look like a good drink. Normally it would be clear. <laughs> I, is it good? I, I I, you know what? I was about it. to taste it, but Michael was making me laugh, so <laughs> okay. I, I decided to put the glass back down. For oh yeah, time. I forgot to taste mine too. I need a I straw. A lot of booze. A lot of booze. Yeah, there. mine is going to be but, fairly al alcohol forward. It's boozy, but it's balanced. Oh, quite it's like nice, myself. Boozy no, there's a nice balance of there's a nice there's a nice balance of acidity and sweetness. Okay, that's um, enough chit chat. Try mine. <laughs> <laughs> and also the nose is very nice as well. Thank you. Okay, if you want to go to West, by the way, you can sit at the bar and have wonderful uh, mixology, including the award-winning drink by David, uh, because he's officially Canada's premier mixologist, according to Grey Goose. And how is your uh, tropical storm? <laughs> <laughs> the nose is better than the palate. Ah, uh, it's not very good. Go, there's, oh, a okay. slight, there's a slight. There's a slight. It's really good. <laughs> I know it's gross. There's a, um, a slight bitterness on the finish. Can I tell um, you? I got this <laughs> recipe by going to Google and putting best vodka cocktail <laughs> ever, and then making the first recipe. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> Michael, but Fiona yes. has to win this one. All right. So you Fiona did me a frat recipe. recipe. Congratulations. Thank you, David, and congratulations to you. And once again, you can visit pleasure. West on South Granville. Oh, well, we're gonna have a couple cocktails, and when we return, uh, world famous designer Anna Sweet. Right after this, would you like? Try what a real cocktail tastes like. That is just shocking. It's, it's shocking. Tropical <laughs> Storm, it comes with a sound too. <laughs>